Sancha, and Eton Conception are established professionals in media and pageantry enthusiasts. Their works for their respective publications continue to inspire readers all over the country, and their passion for pageantry elevates contestants to be their best selves. In everything they do, they give their all, and that is what makes them the inspiring individuals that they are today. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of In Love With Me where we feature inspiring individuals who will share their amazing stories. I am your host, Mafe Yunon Velasco, and for this series, our topic is passion and purpose. For this episode, we have empowered men, media professionals, writers, and pageant enthusiasts to motivate us to take action. So without further ado, let's welcome the amazing Gilbert Kim Sancha and Eton Conception. Hello, guys. Hello, my favorite. Good Thanks afternoon. for joining me. <laughs> yes, You're I miss you guys so much. I mean, every time I see you both, I just feel this, you know, positive energy just from um, us being aligned, I guess, in the pageant scene and also with um, you know, publicity since I'm also doing PR now. Um, I have to first and all, first, thank you guys for the support that you give all the pageant winners, candidates, and just, you know, just putting great, you know, uh, news out there for, for people to be entertained. So I know you're both busy during this time, especially during quarantine period. But before I ask you what you've been up to, um, can you please share with us on how you are the empowered and inspiring man or the men that you are today? Maybe we can start with Gilbert. Wow, really? <laughs> I'm the starter? <laughs> <laughs> well... For me, I am empowered because I'm still alive. I'm doing what I love to do, and I'm enjoying my life despite of the pandemic. Simple as that. <laughs> and I, I know that you have such a you know great talent in writing. So where wow, did that you. start? Um, I think it started back in 2013. That was my first um, writing. Contributing job, I guess. That's what I remember. That's when I started. And how about you, Ethan? How are you the empowered and inspiring man that you are today? Uh, mabuhay to all my fans and to all the <laughs> pageant fans around the world. <laughs> Sa mga hindi po nakaka-alam, I used to be the number one of in 2003. <laughs> so it's really good to see those throwback photos that you've just flashed as the fact that I'm celebrating my fame, my 20th year in the world pageant with year, I consider that as a big success. And, and, it, and it makes me an empowerment. Uh, one thing I don't get about being a pageant expert or being a pageant enthusiast is to support uh, the younger ones. Uh, these new writers, encouraging them to be themselves, to, to write better. Oo, hindi lang. I mean, al alam natin yan, yung, yung mga problema like fake news, so much intrigues, those things that should be avoided, the ba? <laughs> Ayan, siguro that's why ni Gilbert sa, sa broadcast then, like Daily Tribune ta itong Manila Standard. So I've been with the uh, standard since uh, Megan Young days. When Megan won our first Miss World, that was my first assignment from my editor, the, the, the former editor of uh, the entertainment page of Manila Standard, Sir Isa Ren. Ayan, and from then on, ayan, ayan siya. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, you guys are always on the go. You know, as uh, 
media and attending all these events, how do you stay energized? I mean, sometimes I believe I will speak to Gilbert or even at on you have like four events in one day or five events in one day. I mean, where do you find the energy? Like, do you have maybe a ritual or a habit na ginagawa nyo to, to make sure that you're, you're healthy and, and you're able to be on, on attending these events on time? Gilbert, maybe? Um, yeah, so I stay away from stress, actually. <laughs> That's the number one thing that, you know, uh, put me down. And I also took vitamins. So, yeah, then water and then sleep, that thing. <laughs> Eton, how about you? Naman, parang everything comes from the heart kasi. When you're enjoying what you're doing, hindi mo rin mararamdaman yung pagod. The fact that I actually have a very weak immune system. <laughs> I have mm-hmm. weak lungs actually, in my faith. But um, since it's our one of our passions, so as long as masaya mo siyang ginagawa, hindi mo rin maramdaman yung pagod. Eh? Even though we have more than two to three coverages a day. And the fact that I'm working full-time in a government agency, uh, let, let me clarify lang, Mate, you know, but, uh, the pageant world being a, a pageant columnist in the Manila Standard is actually just a hobby for me. I'm just a hobby is doing it because I work full-time uh, uh, in, in a government agency and we're not allowed to... I mean, to accept uh, payment, for example, from from Manila Standard. So, I I I, I do it just as a hobby, is nothing. How about you, Gilbert? So, you know, what gives you that motivation to write? You know, I, I know there are times that um, you have deadlines. You have, you know. Uh, catch up on maybe a list of features that you have to you have to accomplish um, where do you find imp- the inspiration it's actually uh, from within so if you want to do something if you have the guts and then the passion to do it so yeah it keeps you going and motivated and yeah the deadline it's part of the job it it, it is what it is talaga so yeah <laughs> Well, and and I I find that you guys are so professional in a way where um, I attend events with you guys and then it's like you're already writing your final um, write-up. I'm like, I'm really new. How did you do that so quick? Um, does it come in pra- like from experience or practice or is there certain techniques that you guys do when you uh, are attending an event or maybe a press conference? Uh, well, it depends on the events and the topic actually so in my case hindi lang ako pageant i also covered entertainment lifestyle yeah. then prior to the event i normally read research about a certain people so at least i have something to ask and then something to share with the uh, individual involved in press con so yeah and you add on when you have like a writer's block how do you motivate um, yourself? Uh-uh. It's, it's expected already. We know our <laughs> deadline. It's <laughs> uh, when the when when it's already 3 p.m. Uh, that's the time that on or before 3 p.m. we have to submit our report, our stories to to our editor. And the fact that mm-hmm. uh, beauty queens and pageant are naman yung assignment namin, so it's easier for us to write since it's our mm-hmm. our passion and interest. Yeah. And and for sure, you know, you both have been in the industry for many years. So what is the difference from, let's say, 10 years ago to, let's say, you know, the media now because of, you know, the, I guess, the online um, factor? Is there a big Mm -hmm. difference? Uh, For me, yes, there is a difference uh, prior and then now. So before... It's okay uh, for us to write like very long. This time they don't want to read. They just want the five W's and then one H. That's it. And then people nowadays, when they're reading the newspaper or online, they are more on the picture, not on the story, which is actually 
not good because you're not reading the story, so right. you won't get anything from the picture by just read, uh, looking at the picture rather. So yeah, so that's the thing for me. Ako naman, Mafe, I started before the, the millennium and my forte was actually feature writing. So I used to work in one of the established magazines, fashion magazines uh, those times. That was uh, Mod Magazine. Your aunt, uh, Desta Rivertetero. Uh, yeah! We <laughs> actually featured uh, her as one of their cover girls, the cover story. So all beauty queens actually, uh, yun, natin feature done. Pero in a feature format, not in a straight report. So uh, when I reached uh, the, the Manila Standard Office, and I adjusted to my way of writing, so it's a straight report now. Mm -mm. Yeah, I remember those. I think maybe um, there is one picture of me when I was a baby holding a magazine and see um, Auntie Desiree was on the cover. Baka yun yung, ano, yung feature ginawa mo. <laughs> yes. Actually, I wrote a lot about you and with your Aunt Desiree. But I remember <laughs> my first public, uh, my first uh, published work was actually printed by Tito Riquillo in the Manila Standard. That was mm -hmm. when you completed in Miss World. I, yes. I still remember. I still remember those facts, actually. That was in 2003. You were you you hit a record of the, the contestants in Miss World that year. I think uh, it, you reached 106. And that was a few days before my birthday. That was December 6th. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, wow. Every time, you, every, time uh, every time you were making it to the... Um, What's this? The sub contest of Miss World. And those times, mm -hmm. since I hindi pa ako connected ng sa Manila Standard, and pag magazine naman, uh, we were waiting for one week kasi in deadline. So, ayun, nagkakontrol ko kay Tito Riquel naman. Eh, pero, may, uh, that time, hindi ko pa alam na may mga, what's this? May mga writer na assigned na din kasi. So, mm -hmm. nakonti lang ako kay Tito Ricky, and then I decided to work full-time sa mod magazine nga until mm -hmm. I learned at Manila Standard. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, let's talk about the pageantry. I mean, you both have a passion for it. Um, when did that begin? Maybe, Gilbert, when did you begin loving attending pageants or just wanting to write about, um, let's say, beauty queens or... Or just watching pageants itself. Oh, so I started watching beauty pageant. That was Ethan. I forgot the year, so that was Mona Groot, <laughs> the Norway, the Miss Universe from Norway. That was my first Miss Universe experience. I, I, I can't remember the year, whatever, but that's the first Miss Universe that I was able to watch and from that point forward every year i used to watch the miss universe and then i started with the writing back in 2013 so i was just like contributing uh to a blog and then to the tribune with the help of my very good friend who introduced me to blogging then to the brunch so that was 2013 up to now so that's how and i'm uh, sorry when i started um writing about pageant and then in between I'm also writing about lifestyle art and anything about beauty fashion so yeah and of course Eton you, you started um of course, a year earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one motivated me uh, in entering the, the pageant world was actually a very very old album Pamana sa so in that album, bale it has uh, Gloria Diaz days, tayo mga sobrang amazing mga 70s beauties, di ba? Uh, those times na talagang powerhouse ang Philippines. Oh, ang gaganda nila, like um, Aurora Piwan, syempre si Marjo Moran, then Melanie Marquez. Sabi ko, oh my God, ganito ka gaganda talaga mga Filipina. And then I remember... <clears throat> 1994, um, 1994, I was in, in fourth year college. Since hindi ko pa afford uh, bumili ng ticket, 
yon wala pang ganun ganun so but i attempted to watch uh, the Miss universe event um in the dnt app and then nagko-collect ako nung nag-start ako mag-collect doon mga tabloid at magazine yung mga magazine hinihingi ko lang sa ano sa parlor everything na papagupit ako due to our art scene <laughs> wow sa <laughs> image di ba So, kabahigs ko yung mga gumugupit dun sa parlor and then I was asking them if I could have those pages. Sabi ko, pang clippings ko lang. So, ganun ako nagsimula. Then, pinagpatuloy ko yung That Very Old Album. And, believe it or not, Mafe, I have a collection of <laughs> maybe two rooms, two big rooms. Wow. Uh, kung, uh, pictures, pageant, memorabilia, mementos. In fact, uh, sa'yo lang, I have very thick, two very thick albums, Mafi, di ba? So, mm-hmm. your will have them in, in the right time. <laughs> yeah, my gosh! It's so amazing, you know? I have to thank you for that. Because all the clippings that you're collecting, especially for, you know, some of the winners probably have not seen these write-ups mm-hmm. about us, you know? And, and that's why I appreciate about both of you is that, you know, you write about women that I guess inspire you and then at the same time it's like it makes us happy because you know the level of achievement that we thought maybe okay just because we didn't bring home the crown baka magalit kayo or whatever but then when we see the write-ups and you guys are so proud you know it makes it makes everything worth it you know all the sacrifice so um Gilbert who is your most favorite queen okay lang kung hindi ako oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe sorry, a list of a list of queens that you you know really uh, admire and and okay. know that uh, you know what they achieved uh, was really amazing. Okay, so for the local or the Philippines, uh, favorite yung dalaw yung dalawa nating leaders. So, si Pia and uh, Catriona, I love them. So, they have two different personalities and two different uh, approach when it comes to beauty and intelligence. And then for the international, so for Miss Universe, my all-time favorite is, of course, the Venezuelan beauty. So, <laughs> given na yon. Then for the Asian, apart from the Philippines, of course, uh, I love Ryu Mori, the Miss Universe from Japan. Because she was not afraid to be uh, different, so she she was just simple, but she she is really a Miss Universe for me, and I actually love her uh, feral walk that uh, tuxedo. So that's actually unique for me. So yeah, yeah, and then also Oksana Fedorova. I know he, uh, she was dethroned, but I still like her. And then Natalie Glibova. So yeah, those are my favorites. And there you go, it's Pia. <laughs> yes. And... Eton, how about you? Um, I love all of them, Matt. Uh, I believe it or not. Because <laughs> kasi I support talaga. Pero uh, yung fascination ko nag-start sa uh, 60s and 70s. Sobrang na-amiss ako nun. Tapos hindi ako nagsasawang <laughs> pagmasdan yung, yung photos nila dun sa, sa old album ko. So sobrang ganda-ganda ako nun kay, kay Melanie Marquez, kay Margie Moran, kay Gloria Diaz, to your aunt, si Desiree, Aurora Piwan, si Vida Doria. Yeah. Jim Camus. <laughs> Ito yung mga 70s beauties. Thank you so much. Siguro nakikita mo kami, inaabangan namin sila every time may binibin yung Pilipinas. <laughs> to have uh, photos with the 70s beauties, di ba? <laughs> uh-huh. uh, all of them actually, even mga latest na naman. Uh, si Pia, uh, si Pia works back, may reunion kaming Pianetics every December. So ang bite-bite na even stage, kinasikas ko na kami mabuti, and then meron contest, nagjo-join kami. Um, she's passionate for for her fans. Talagang nagiging back si, si Pia. Actually, yung last reunion nga, ang dami naming, ano, ang dami naming loot bags. <laughs> Come from happy, I know. Um, uh, Tia works back on a Christmas party. Lahat, lahat naman favorite ko. 
sa, sa international, um, the one I appreciate most sa ngayon, si uh, Angela Vizor. Kasi she's so humble. She's a fantastic woman. She's from the Netherlands. She appreciates uh, nature and animals, flowers, plants, trees, uh, these things that I love the most. Then. So parang, even though we don't discuss our passion and interest, the fact na nakikita ko sa social media niya, sobrang nakaka-amaze, saka sobrang nakaka-relate ako. He has dogs, <laughs> and he has many, many plants, uh, flowering plants that I love the most. And maganda ka, Angela Vizor, she communicates with the fans. Nag-reply pa ka agad, and she's very humble. She she likes our post, nag-heart yan. Ayun, sobrang nakaka-amaze the fact that she won in 1989 pa. The year before Gilbert first watched Miss Universe. Yung year ni Mona Group. Oh my God. <laughs> Ito, I so, was only nine back then. <laughs> Si Mona Group sa ko din. Taka si, siyempre, yeah. uh, si, uh, si, ano, si, yun na mention ni Gilbert, Gaddes, si Oksana Pedaroba. Oksana. Mm-hmm. Of course, lahat naman Miss- tayo love siya eh. <laughs> yeah. She's super gorgeous. Um, so, you know, Wala. Yeah. Go ahead, Gilbert. No, I was about to say na uh, Elsana is talagang wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so, you know, um, going back to being a writer, what would be you your advice to, let's say, aspiring writers that want to follow your footsteps, whether it be for um, the news, the entertainment, the pageant, the pageantry, what should they be preparing? I mean, especially right now, um, we're all at home, where we have a lot of time. So, I don't advise you on now. What should they be doing if they want to become um, a great writer, like you both? Who would like to start? <laughs> For me, Matthew, always be professional. Always beat the deadline. Always have a good relationship with the editor. Kasi doon yung magagaling, yung approval, di ba? So far, 99% of my submitted reports naman were up of food. Uh, alam naman natin sa entertainment uh, pages, sometimes naghahanap yung readers ng minsan ginagawang mas interesting. Kaya ako kasi ano, I avoid intrigues. <laughs> <laughs> mga, alam mo na, yung mga ganun, ayoko nun kasi. And alam nung editor ko na, na may limit ako sa pagsasulat, ayoko nung mga masyadong mga ganun. So, for the younger uh, generation ng, ng writers, ayun, nung ma-advise ko lang, ano lang, basta always look to your inner core. Doon yun, eh, yung professionalism, yung pagiging maayos na writer, yung pagiging professional na, na writer. You don't hurt people just to put a report, di ba? So, yun. Ako, hindi ko hinahabol yung, yung dami ng likes or yung ma-approach ng mga tao. Basta, nasubmit ko yung report as it is. So, ayun. Basta, very professional lang yung approach. Gilbert? Okay, uh, normally my advice to aspiring and young writers are just only two hours. So let's read and research because by reading, that's uh, where you will get something. You will have an idea, you will cultivate your mind. And then research, of course, that's where you will get information, the right information that you need to know for you to. Uh, create something in writing that the readers will read. And then by having those two hours, of course, Sheffrey, you will have a responsibility to have a credi- uh, credibility as a writer. And then after that, of course, it will follow your honesty, professionalism, and then, of course, loyalty to your readers and to your fans. Right, exactly. I, I agree with you because it, it does uh, have to be credible, you know, for, for you to have like a unique write-up or for people to um, have a certain appreciation for, for the writer. Really. 
Yeah. Um. So you know, let's. Sorry. Yes. Uh, let me just add lang na, of course, uh, it doesn't mean that you are a writer, you can write everything uh, sa blog or sa newspaper because writing medyo malawak. So it, uh, the, the skills and then the technicalities, magkakaiba yan sa news, sa lifestyle, sa sports. So yeah, that's why you have to read and you have to research. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's totally true. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Let me add up lang this. Uh, beauty queens mm-hmm. and, and pageant fans have to understand that we don't have full control of our report, those published uh, reports. Sometimes our editor or the ones in the office uh, give twist to, to our yeah. story. Let's say, for example, uh, we have recaps for the fall year and for example, uh, last last year we had a good harvest of, of wins as compared to, yeah. to the one. So sometimes, minsan narere title sa, minsan, 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 kahit ayoko, minsan nagna negative minsan eh, yung, yung, yung yeah. ibang tangraf or yung, yung ibang angolo. That was beyond our control, Mate. So, mm-hmm. beauty queens and pageant fans have to understand that it's the what's it's one of the nature of, 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 of publication Mm-mm. and you know i appreciate both of you being transparent about that because uh, a lot of people don't know that Masakita lang yung pangalan yeah. mo, written by oh my gosh what did no. you write Ethan? what did you write gilbert no there is an editor-in-chief that has uh, power to edit mm-hmm. to change the story so, you know, in a way, um, Eton and Gilbert and I'm sure other, you know, writers in the media um, also try to, to make sure that the write-up is a positive one, it's credible, it's respectful, um, but at, at, like you said, at the end of the day, you, you are not the one approving, you're not the one um, doing the final pub- publish uh, piece. But um, you guys are doing the best so you can to make sure that everybody stays happy. But I'm glad that you are here on um, on this show expressing to everyone what really the real deal is. Because uh, to me, I appreciate what you guys do. Because it's not easy also. You know, you try to um, please so many people. But then at the end of the day, it's also your job. It's also your, um, you know, bread and butter for you. So uh, with that. That's why I respect and and a lot of people just need to know and be patient on on at least what they say now and good PR, bad PR, it's still PR, yeah. you're still getting awareness, <laughs> right? So speaking of that, I mean for you guys, when you feel uh, you know, these negative comments, I mean just like you know, any pageant uh, queen, when you have like negative uh, feedback and things like that. How do you motivate yourself? How do you um, do you absorb? Do you avoid? What do you do? Let's start with Gilbert. Uh, for me, there will always be a criticism. So regardless of what you do, writing, uh, in work, or whatever, or wh- whenever. So for me, I actually uh, accept criticism because it will make me feel good and it will uh, make me feel better in terms of writing, uh, regardless of grammar yan or information, I took it as a challenge. So Because you're not perfect. So if my job is to perfect, but I am not perfect, so I actually take uh, comments or criticism. Mm-mm. I thought. Well, same with Gilbert Maffey. Oh, every time I commit, my mistakes lang naman. Parang I look back to my inner core and then always consider whatever we learned from the university. Tapos, uh, uh, great teachings ng mga professor namin sa journalism, the ethics of the profession, we always consider that. Uh, those things that we should always consider matter. Tapos, stay away from me. Tama... What's this? Ma, may mga toxic people din. We want mga toxic people din from the pageantry. May konting basher din. <laughs> may mga naiinggit din minsan, di ba? So, just avoid them. Minsan, pagpasensyahan na lang, lalo na kung mga matatanda, di ba? 
Nakakala nila kasi bata pa kami kasi we look younger pero hindi nila alam na naman kami. I am young Ethan, you know that. We don't make pop. I am the youngest. <laughs> oh, uh, Mapi, if I may just add yung sinabi kanina ni Ethan about the editor, yeah. it's actually true. May mga times that uh, some uh, we feel that our writings or stories are wow and then the editor will edit and sometimes when it was edited it's much better it's much perfect actually kapag inedit pa ng editor and that's why they called the editors <laughs> they know what to oh. edit and to add and to remove or whatever so yeah mm-hmm. oh. yes I, thought. Okay, I always establish good rapport talaga good and honest a uh, relationship with my, uh, my with my present editor hello sir nikki wan then with my former editor <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's watching me i said sir i said actually he's known to be very meticulous uh, but, mm. but i never experienced that with sir isa um he passed away pero yung legacy ni sir isa Um, ano yun, mananapili yun eh. Paka, I, I, I love uh, Sir Isa Red. Sobrang, hindi ko naranasan sa kanya yung sinasabi nila na sobrang strict at terror. Hindi eh. All, all my reports that I submitted, napublish naman. Minsan, binibigyan niya ako ng advice. Ito, lagyan mo ng konting ganito, ganito. <laughs> Ayun, kasi nga sa entertainment page siya, dapat medyo makulay, merong, may, alam mo yun, <laughs> may konting, ano, showbiz. Ayun, nag a ako minsan. Minsan, bahala na siya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I have to ask you both. I mean, you've been in uh, the pageant world for quite some time. So, For aspiring um, models or aspiring beauty candidates, what would be your advice to them on how to, I guess, prepare for Q&A or just how to prepare in general to join pageants now? Because you've got, you guys have seen it all from, like you said, at the 60s, 70s, fan in Japan. So what can um, a Filipina girl or a Filipino boy who wants to join pageants also, what should they be doing um because it's very cutthroat now you guys mentioned that we have national title holders so how do they become one to get it on you can go first not because we're in front of each other mafia you know but we actually set a very good example for the young generations of beauty queens you eh. see uh, i was observing you during your time, noong 2003, Binibinim Pilipinas, you had a good rapport and relationship with all the people, uh, with, with the manangs, with the supervisors of the Binibinim Pilipinas, and then down to the fans, the people that, uh, that, that, we were, that we've met that, those times. Yung mga nakakasalamuhan ng tao, even though mga fans sila, makikita mo lang as you walk, di ba? Kahit yung mga pastor ba, yung mga nag observe sa pageantry, na-observehan kita ng mabuti mafia, no? Ang takasig na sari. Ang coronation night, alam ko na, sabi ko, this two, ano, binibigins will, will make it. And it did not disappoint. So, whenever na, ano, na makakapagbigay ako ng teaching sa mga aspiring beauty queens, Lagi kong sinasabi yon, and then Mafe, believe it or not, siguro mga <laughs> five or six times na ginagawa kita ng example. Kasi, sobrang, oh nga, sobrang matanong sa isip ko yon yung how you dealt with with the fans those days. Kasi ano yun eh, spiral of silence ang tawag doon sa communication. Coming from a single mouth, kakalat siya. So, yung candidate mo yun, ang bait pala, ang bait, so, teachable, and she has uh, a way. Uh, sinasabi ko rin na hindi ko siya kilala personally. Uh, don't know kung talagang mabait siya or kung pasad lang ba. Pero the fact na ginagawa niya yun sa, sa, sa tao, sa public, sa, sa masas, sa pageant fans. So, for me, malaking... Malaking factor talaga yung character, Mafe. Not only the, the physical pulchritude of, of a woman, but also the, the inner beauty. So, ayun, napapansin ko, every year naman, um, 
most of the girls uh, who who win, who won, ano naman, bihira naman yung may attitude then. So, as siguro one good effect nun, ayun, parang nakakapag-establish kami ng friendship or Facebook friends or Instagram friends. Doon lang na, basta yung, yung totoong sila eh, di ba? Uh, yes. The year after they relinquish their crown and then the succeeding years, doon na makikita yung totoong sila talaga. Um, ayan, it's good to know and to feel na ayan, maraming mafay, maraming gesture. Ah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> diba? you. Na, 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 inside and out. That's the winning formula kasi ng isang aspiring beauty queen. Hindi lang maganda pang labas talaga, kundi dun sa loob talaga. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Thank Total you, Eton. <laughs> Gilbert, what about you? Okay. So, yung advice ko lang naman sa mga beauty queens and kings as well, it's just simple. Uh, ito yung sinasabi ko normally sa kanila when I have the time to catch with them, talk with them during press con or any events everywhere. Uh, I advise him to have sleep. Kasi yung sleep, it affects your mood. It affects your attitude. If you don't have enough sleep, the next day, your performance will be affected. You will have an attitude. Then, second thing is yung read. You need to read. Again, I, I, I am always saying read because for me, reading is a must because it is the thing or where you will get something to exude to everyone. And yung reading, of course, that's your key to the Q&A. Regardless if it's a male pageant or beauty pageant, reading, especially now sa mga pageant, oh my God, if you're not good in speaking, regardless if you're beautiful, you're out. So let's mm-hmm. face it, reading. And then um, enjoy, enjoy the journey because it will teach you, you know, about life, teaching about people, teaching it will teach you uh, how to talk in front of millions or billions, uh, billions of people. And then, um, of course, in beauty, I, yeah, beauty is there. And lalo na ngayon, we have the science to enhance your beauty. Yeah. And um, for me, madalina yung beauty. The, uh, the intelligence is the hardest, and then you cannot learn from it. Like, in just months, two months, or three months. It takes a lot to have that uh, uh, spontaneity in speaking publicly. And, you know, public speaking is the most uh, hardest job in the world. So that's why reading will put into your speaking when you're doing a public speaking. And yeah, enjoy, explore, and experience your journey. Yeah. No, everything you both said is correct. Um, you know, probably the, the key factor for me, and maybe I can speak for Jezre also on why we were just enjoying the experience is because we were just grateful. We we're thankful that we were there in that position. Kahit wala pa kaming crown, it's already a privilege to be a official candidate. I said the network that you meet, the people that you get to inspire is the, the main thing that you're your why. Kung bakit ka nandun? Why are you doing this? Diba? So I know Jezre, she was very God-fearing. Like me, my faith was so strong. So both of us, I guess, was just grateful that we were there. And all the people that we see smiling back at, at us, they're like, oh, yes, thank you, you know, because you make it um, uh, less stress for us to enjoy the journey. And just like Gilbert said, you know, I think a lot of girls... And I know I saw some girls during Miss World alone that did, didn't enjoy the whole month that we were there because they were so tied up on being perfect, being, um, you know, winning the crown. It's like you're forgetting, like, the experience. You're forgetting, hello, you're in a, already representing your country. You have the, the, the sash. And mind you, don't, say, uh, don't think that I didn't really try hard to get Miss World. I did, but at the same time, I appreciate my network now. I mean, imagine I have 108 girl friends around the world that I can just network with, collaborate with. Um, that's something that not a lot of people think about. And I think Jezre did the same thing. Um, and 
yeah, all these, the research, the reading, that's all um, great advice. I, I, I agree with all that too, because especially right now you're at home. I mean, you, there's no events, there's no, um, <laughs> Um, anyway, you can't go out. So yes, read or even here, you know, I have these inspiring men in front of me. Um, if I were you, I would listen to this whole episode again because, you know, they've been there. They've witnessed. They've witnessed the, 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 the pageant um, world. They've experienced um, being one on one with these beauty queens that have made it successful. You know, let me ask you guys, if you give it a chance to judge Kayo. What would be your question? <laughs> what would be your oh favorite question? Because I have my favorite question when I judge. What is yours? Um, let's start with Ethan. What's your favorite question to ask? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know? oh. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> okay. Siguro sa akin, more on how you give back to the people and to the community once you won your your national or your international pageant it's mm -hmm. how you would do to your community your advocacy siguro more on that <laughs> mas, mas futuristic no <laughs> gilbert how about you uh i we are, sorry i actually asked this in an interview i think all can do it so i think during katriona so i this is the question that I will ask if I am a judge. <laughs> so, um, who is uh, Eton or Mappe before and after <laughs> the pageant, after Miss Universe or after Miss World? So, yeah, that's one thing. And the second question ko na gustong itanong is, what's the hardest part and the easiest part of being a beauty queen on and off cam? Good one. That's a good one. You know, I, with me is my favorite question because being um, an experienced, I guess, candidate or beauty queen, we feel the tension, we feel the nerves, we feel everything, you know, regardless of how much we uh, practice, how much we research. Alam mo may nerves, eh? we're humans. So when I have a chance to ask um, any girl, I only have one question for them always, you know, what's your favorite color and why? It's very simple, oh. right? But you, yes. you'd be surprised. The most favorite answer that I ever received was from um, a girl in the province. And she answered me, my favorite color is blue because it's the, um, the color of the sky. And it reminds me of what God has blessed us with. Because whenever I look up, I see the beautiful blue and God like just shining on you and and. Just, you know, it's just the way she expressed it. I was like, wow. And alamo, not even one or two seconds, and she didn't pause. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Ang galing. Diba? <laughs> Normally you say, oh, my favorite color is red because it's what? Powerful, <laughs> you know? But I mean, <laughs> you know, I like that kind of, um, I guess, the communication skills or the expression. It touches you deep. I mean, of course, we get the normal. Um, you know, the essence of a woman and, and uh, you know, like with your question, Ethan, like the advocacy, you know, these are things that girls can plan for, I guess. But really, I mean, if we talk about this, it's it's what you love. What's your passion? Diba? As, a, as writers, I mean, when you guys write, um, it's more of the way your style is. How do you express it? And I think that's what you guys, um, you know, that's your key to success when it comes to uh, being a professional writer. Um, so with that, guys, I've enjoyed chatting with you and I'm sure we can talk about so much more things. Um, but lastly, before we wrap up, can you please share on um, maybe like my question to you, is there something new that you've learned about yourself during this uh, quarantine period? Gilbert, let's start with you. Uh, during this quarantine period, what I learned most is to love yourself more because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still you mm -hmm. that, you know, that, sorry, I'm lost. Uh, it's you that will uh, dictate or create your future ahead regardless of the obstacles, what's 
being happening, what's being thrown at you, and regardless of what's going on politically in the Philippines, love yourself more. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Eton. Ako, ma- ma- okay, I have a deeper purpose uh, this time of pandemic. Not only this time of pandemic, but b- before pa. Ako kasi, ano, my ultimate goal in life uh, is to meet Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, parang, ano, I imitate Him. So, this time of pandemic, ano, uh, I commit myself to the strays, stray dogs and cats. I visit them every day. I give them food, water. Tapos, um, I do um, gardening, uh, mini gardens lang, made of recyclable materials. Itong mga bagay na to yung talagang nasa puso ko at namimiss ko uh, whenever I have a full-time job. So, eto, uh, gladly, uh, I have one ano, stray dog. I, I met... Uh, uh, her name uh, is Scaly. I met Scaly. Um, she looked like a zombie dog, as in, oh, um, and dami niyang suga, tapos ano, almost uh, butot balat na lang. So, ayun, decided ako na matransform siya. So, ngayon, more than three, three months na, medyo nakakaroon na siya ng balahibo. <laughs> so, these little things na talagang tontong ako. Tonto ka talaga ako. In, and even the netizens, si mga kaibigan ko, ay, minsan nagsusuporta sila sa advocacy ko na yun. Ito yung mga, uh, what's this, little advocacies na nasa puso ko talaga. At alam ko, napiplace ko si, si Lord kahit pa paano. Yun. So, ang importante sa akin natin, peace of mind, and yun preparate natin for, for eternal home. Hindi lang kasi yun mas importante eh. We could have everything in the world. I mean, fame, popularity, success, money, di ba? Um, kilala si Mafi, kilala si Eton. But ang tanong natin, anong mangyari sa atin, di ba? Once na, let's say, gaganan nga, di ba? So we always prepare. We should always prepare every day. Hanggat makakagawa tayo ng magandang bagay, each day, ayan gawin natin. <laughs> Yes, thank you for that. And it goes back to the spiral of silence. And I think Alex here agrees with me. You know, I love that theory on doing things um, when nobody's looking, right? Like with Gilbert, um, staying inspired within yourself, loving yourself, enhancing, reading, research, you know, so that you can be always ready for that next opportunity, you know? Um Thank you so much, both of you, for, for being on here. You're such uh, amazing individuals that I love so much. Thank you for the friendship. Thank you for, for the partnership, the collaborations that we have had and will have many more of. Um, you know, my topic here is passion and purpose, and I would love for you guys to define that for our closing. So maybe uh, we can start with Eton. Please define passion and purpose for you. Okay, before I defined um, passion and purpose, Mafei, sa, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, no, 2003 was the year we sent uh, Mafei Verdadero Union to, to Miss World 2003. And that was the first time na nag-host ang China ng Miss World. So that was extravagant. Talagang big news na. And I think the organization, <laughs> Binibin ng Pilipinas, had to send someone was very strong. Kasi the fact that it hit on the date of 106. So 100, big, yeah. 106, Mafe. I think 108. 8 kami. 108. Oo nga. May dalawa pa. So the fact na nagganan siya. I remember that year na sobrang extravagant. And then, and siya, wild, widely promoted siya. The fact na first time mag-host ang China, di ba? So, yung mga sumunod na taon, talagang ang daming hostings na ginawa ng China. Eh. Pero, that Miss World Edition, yung sa'yo, Mafei, that was the first na nag-hold, na nag-held ang, ang China ng, ng international pageant. So, that was big. So, talagang big deal yung edition ng Miss World. And as we rewatch sa DVD, sobrang ganda talaga. At, Ako lang itanong, Mafei, kung natabi mo pa yung corset gown mo. <laughs> <laughs> Oo oh, nga eh, 
medyo nag-trending siya ng konti na yon. <laughs> But I did say to everyone that was ano, a Barraza design. Ayan. And one of these days, Maf, eh, basta I'll give the those uh, two Tikas albums to your kids, ha? Yes! As my... Thank you! <laughs> thank you, Eton. I have lots of collections na rin kasi. Itong personalized uh, barong, personalized suit. Itong Miss World suit ko. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? Oh, <laughs> me, wala pa ako. Wala ako. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, tie lang. din. Ang ganda ng mga ties mo, ah. <laughs> Oo, oh, yung mga tie din. <laughs> Tapos, pero yung definition ko nung, what's this? Uh, yes, purpose. passion and purpose. And purpose. Yun what nga. is your definition of, uh-oh. Ako, to live each day with um, a good intention, with great things to do, do little sacrifices. Ito nga, very practical example ko, yung feeding the, the strays, stray dogs and cats. Uh, kung may sobra sa mini garden mo, you give it to your neighbor, you give it to the community, kasi not all of us have green thumb, di ba? <laughs> so kung may sobra dyan sa, sa harvest mo, you, you give it to the people. This uh, practical uh, doings, para sa akin, ito yung meaning ng... ng Mapay na itong question. Passion. Yes, passion and purpose. Um, Gilbert, can you please share with everyone your definition of passion and purpose? Hmm. Okay. Ang hirap naman ng tanong. Maabutan na ako ng 30 seconds. Out na ako. Or tanarap na agad ako. Kaya mo yan. Alright. For me, uh, passion is just uh, doing what you love to do and what you're good at. So that's how I define passion. And for the purpose, uh, for me, it's just uh, sharing and showing passion in everything you do with respect, regardless of the differences and obstacles. So yeah, those are my definitions. Thank um, you again, guys. You know, a lot of people over here tuned in are... I'm sure very inspired by the both of you. And if in case anyone else has a- any questions or just want advice from Eton and Gilbert, I have their social media handles here and I'll have it also on the caption so that you can reach them. And I know they're more than happy to, to speak to you, to uh, you know share their words of wisdom because they're very um, intelligent and powerful individuals that I admire so much. So again, with that, guys, Gilbert and Eton, thank you again again um i learned so much from you uh both um you know guys very important research and read right now okay take comments uh, negative comments as growth uh you know um use that to to gain the strength just like what gilbert said you know and the spiral of science is very very powerful treat everybody um with a good heart Uh, respect yourself, respect the world, respect others, and um, trust me, you know, God will bless you in many, many ways. So again, for watching this episode, Action Speak Out and have a great rest of the day. God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching and love of me series.